happening here, the CVS Health Charity Classic. Yes, it is back. It's one of Rhode Island's largest charitable events. And that's where we're going to find Michaela this morning. How's it going out there on the green? Hey, I'll tell you what, you couldn't have asked for a better golf day. I'm here at the Rhode Island Country Club in Barrington. The water is right behind us. I also have a crew of volunteers right behind me as well. We're going to get to them in just a moment. But hey, the, the uh, Classic is legal now. 21 years of the CVS Health Charity Classic. And man, oh man, they have brought the energy from Crave last week that we were telling you all about on the road show and then the Pro-Am. And now the day of play. The competition is really going to kick off. Nicole is our first guest. She is the director of environmental management over at CVS Health. You're wearing green, an appropriate color for a day like today. <laughs> yes, thank you for having us. Um, at CVS Health, you know, sustainability and environmental compliance is really important to us. Mm -hmm. And we felt it was really um, important that we brought those aspects to an event you know, a very important corporate event like this. Yeah. Um, so we've been doing it for a few years now. And, and you've been recognized kind of year after year, third year in a row that you received a wonderful honor. Tell us about that. Yes, we did. On Thursday at Crave, the Rhode Island DEM presented us with a green certification for our events. Um, and we've been working really closely with them to establish what that criteria should be mm -hmm. and hoping to promote that to other festivals um, in the state as well. So tell us a little bit about that criteria, how you were able to um, achieve a, an acknowledgement like that because you've done a lot and there is a lot going on currently uh, on the course. There is. So um, really important aspect is zero waste. Mm -hmm. um, and we do that by having about 30 green volunteers on the course. Helping, here are some of them right here. <laughs> helping teach the spectators um, the proper way to recycle and compost. Mm -hmm. um, and we have about 60 stations around the course um, for folks to or for the spectators to use. And our goal is zero waste from our spectators. Yeah. So we do that by separating out the compost and recycling and then go waste energy with the remainder. And then there are some other initiatives too behind our volunteers. Guys, I'm going to actually just split for a moment. Maybe do your best uh, like Vanna White to impression there. There you go. Tell us what's going on in the suites over here. Yeah, so a few years ago we removed air conditioning from the suites. We figure it's beautiful enough out here. We didn't need that and mm -hmm. that has saved us um, on our energy consumption. We also have um, a shuttle service from the Seekonk Speedway and that reduces our emissions. Yeah. And then the restrooms have low flow uh, um, uh, toilets and uh, automatic shutoff sinks. Well, because with a day like today, you're expecting quite the crowd, I'm sure. Yes, we are. And so, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to really make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, and it's astounding at the end of the day to see all the compost and recycling and so little trash after a big event like this. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And I know a lot of us are, are trying to think of those ways that we can reduce the, our own waste at home. Nice to know that if we come to an event like this, you guys are, are helping us do that all throughout the course, you said. Yes, the green team is the probably the most important element to the yeah. event. Um, <laughs> without them, we tried to do it without them the first couple of years and um, once we introduced the green team into it, it really made a difference. And everyone goes home with a little bit more information about the proper way to recycle and compost. Yeah, two different kind of green teams out here. The ones that are actually tending to the greens, but this is the green team that you want to make note of. Guys, thank you all so much for volunteering. I'm, I'm volunteering on a day like today. Really got to twist your arm, I'm sure, for that one. Get you out of the office when the sun is shining. It is hot out out here, but it is a great day to enjoy some golf or maybe play some golf. You're going to see all the action here at Rhode Island Country Club all morning long. Things tee off um, probably in about 40 minutes or so, about 9:45, just before our show ends. But we're not done. We're going to have another guest on with us in just a little bit, guys. Well, it is tea time at Rhode Island Country Club for the annual CVS Health Charity Classic. You already saw my putting prowess earlier. That's where Michaela is this morning. Now, Michaela, it took me three chances, but I finally sunk that putt. You'll have to watch it later. <laughs> All right, a, a three putt. Nice job, Brendan. Uh, I'm sure the golfers today, though, are a little bit better than that. That's because we have members of the PGA, LPGA, and Champion Stores all located throughout the green. In fact, ready to tee off in just a matter of minutes. Eileen is here, and she is the tournament chair you've been so for almost the entire time of the Classic. Almost, for about 16 years. So wow. it's been really, really exciting to see all the changes that happen every year. We mm -hmm. try and do something new and different each time. So it's been a wonderful experience. Now, one thing that never changes is the charitable aspect of this tournament. Tell us about it and how it's impacted our community over the past 21 years. Well, this is just one of the ways CVS Health tries to give back to the community and we bring our sponsor partners and the golfers to come in and really get connected with our charities. In fact, we have over a thousand volunteers from our working charities. Wow. They're supporting this event every year. They love it. We love it. It's just a great, great 
combination partnership all the way through. How can you not love it on a day like I today? Know. I will say too, there's something about this classic that I swear you talk to the weather gods or something happens. For the most part, it's always pretty picture perfect. Well, knock on wood, it's always pretty yeah. perfect. There have been some years we've had hail and thunder and lightnings, mm -hmm. but the last couple years we've been really, really lucky and Certainly. the weather gods have looked very favorably on us. You have uh, some different elements located throughout the day. Like we said, we can kind of hear some folks maybe taking some practice shots in the background. If you listen really, really closely, you can yes. hear that faint um, swing of the golf club there. But folks are about to tee off in just, just, yeah, just a couple minutes. They'll be teeing off. One of the best golfers in the world will come out and, and yeah. show their stuff to, to the spectators. So come on down and really mm -hmm. participate in this. We also have our All Kids Can Challenge in a 1045, actually, where we've got uh, players from a lot of different nonprofits coming together and getting their sense of what it's like to be on this golf course. Like mm -hmm. Peter Millar has dressed them up and they're working with their the, Rhode, the uh, University of Rhode Island golf team mm -hmm. and they're going to have a great experience. It's really fun to see the kids out there really enjoying it. Hopefully we get our next generation of great golfers coming out of it. Well, that's a good point. I mean, introducing the game of golf to folks young and old. We've actually seen the crowds make their way in. A lot of kids, a lot of older adults. So it's, it's a great event for the entire family. Well, that's the great idea of having the three tours. So between champions, LPGA and PGA, you get something for everybody yeah. and you get an opportunity to really connect with those players in a way that you wouldn't ordinarily get as a Rhode Islander, mm -hmm. knowing, of course, that they're all here because of the charity. They're all here to give back. And the crowds keep coming year after year. It must mean a lot to you. Like you said, you've been part of this about 16 years now. You've seen the evolution, you know, some steady uh, components there of having that charitable aspect, but then seeing all the changes over the years must be a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot of work, yeah. um, but in the end, it really makes you feel good about the fact that we've been mm -hmm. able to do this every year. I mean, the beautiful backdrop of, of Barrington and the, and the course, and the folks at Rhode Island Country Club that have really stepped up as well. We're mm -hmm. really lucky to have fantastic partners, and every year we think, can we top it? And somehow we do. So yeah. it's been a great experience. And even monetarily, too, you guys just keep continuing to give back. You talked about topping it. What is it now, about $22 million? $22 million wow. we've been able to give back, and we're hoping for another million in this year so it'll be a huge accomplishment for all of us and particularly for those charities that really count on that money yeah our working charities we have a dozen of them that have been with us almost since the beginning mm -hmm. and those folks really count on us to help deliver another great event every year and so we have a lot of people riding on this I think you can do it that's yeah. for sure yes. Eileen thank you so much for joining us like she said golfers teeing off in just a matter of moments really and then that all kids can three hole challenge happening at 1045 so plenty to check out after you're done watching the road show make your way over to Rhode Island Country Club in Barrington. Check out the 21st CBS Health Charity Classic, guys.